Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. Oh, how's the patient? Still poorly? <laughs> well, I've been to the doctor and she's given me some medicine to help get rid of this horrible bacterial infection. Antibiotics? Amazing, really, how they work. You tell them, computer. Most coughs and colds get better on their own. Antibiotics are special medicines which help treat serious infections caused by bacteria and only bacteria. They simply do not work against other harmful microbes such as viruses. The very first antibiotic to be used was penicillin and it's all thanks to Alexander Fleming in 1928. He had returned to his laboratory after a holiday to find things in a dreadful mess. Sounds familiar. Dirty petri dishes and test tubes were everywhere. But he noticed that a mould growing on a dish had begun to kill a bacteria called Streptococcus that was also on the dish. This was penicillium. And from his discovery, this mould and others like it were grown and turned into medicines to treat infections. These medicines are called antibiotics. Anti meaning against, and biotic meaning living thing. You see, maybe there's a discovery in one of my mucky test tubes. <coughs> yes, I put my money on a whole new life form. There are several ways in which antibiotics can be used. In the form of a pill or capsule, or a cream you can rub onto your skin. If someone is very sick, antibiotics can also be injected directly into the patient's bloodstream. Oh, how are you taking yours? Capsules, nurse. They're a type of penicillin called amoxicillin. It works well against infections such as mine, which are caused by the pneumococcus bacteria. The ones that hang about in pairs? That's right. Two antibiotics three times a day for five days. The doctor said it's really important to finish all of them as this is a serious infection. Why don't you have a look inside me and see how they're getting on? You can use my amazing heli -teli bubble. Shrink to the size of an atom and have a poke around. I'm on it. Back in a jiffy. heli -teli bubble ready for launch in three, two, one. Gosh, looks like the professor really is very ill. Those pneumococci bacteria are doubling in number every 30 minutes. But I think things might be about to change. I can see the antibiotics moving around the harmful bacteria. Oh, it looks like that bacteria has exploded. The bacteria hasn't strictly exploded. The antibiotics have just interfered with how its cell wall is built causing it to burst. That means the bacteria can't survive. The pneumococci are definitely under attack. They want to keep reproducing, but the antibiotics are fighting hard. Not all antibiotics work in the same way. Some, such as ciprofloxacin, prevents bacteria from reproducing by halting important cell enzymes. Others, like erythromycin, interfere with protein synthesis. Bacteria needs proteins to grow and function. And remember, antibiotics are only effective for bacterial infections. If you've got a cold, some types of sore throat, or athlete's foot, you'll need different treatments because those infections are caused by different microbes. Well, I can see why it's important to finish all your antibiotics. Even though many bacteria have been destroyed, the remaining bacteria will carry on trying very hard to reproduce. The antibiotics can't let up for a minute. Doctors want antibiotics to keep on working, and to do this, it's important to use them correctly. If you don't take them as your doctor or nurse says, harmful bacteria that remain alive may develop a resistance before they are wiped out. This makes it harder for antibiotics to work the next time. Sounds like a battle in there! Well, I can report that your antibiotic is getting to work, Professor. Hopefully you should be feeling better soon. I'll leave them to finish the fight. Antibiotics are only for the person for whom they were prescribed. 
Different types of antibiotics are given for different infections, and it can be dangerous to share them. Whenever you are feeling unwell, make sure you get plenty of rest and keep yourself healthy. You don't want to get run down. OK, no sharing of antibiotics or infections. Professor Halix's Kaleidoscopic Antibiotic, with support from eBug and Public Health England. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash or visit e-bug.eu.